In January, the city of Idaho Falls approved a six-month moratorium surrounding the airport. KPVI News That Works For You journalist Zane Hopin joins us now live from the newsroom, and he was at the city's open house explaining the move to the public. Zane. Thanks, guys. The city mapped out which areas would be affected by the moratorium and answered questions and concerns about this being the right move. On January 31st, the Idaho Falls City Council approved a moratorium on development surrounding the Idaho Falls Airport. The temporary building prohibition is meant to give the city time to pass zoning requirements from the Federal Aviation Agency. We're here tonight to explain, first of all, why uh, it's important, why we passed a moratorium, and then what the code uh, we expect to look like when we're all done. So the city hosted an open house Tuesday night to get people more familiar with the process and its many moving pieces. Other than the fact that the FAA is requiring these zoning changes, it's also important for the safety of those living around the airport, especially in its approach zones. For the safety of the public, uh, for noise issues, safety issues, but also for the future growth of the airport, it allows us to be able to grow and expand as the needs of the airport and the community grow and expand. City Director of Community Development Services Brad Kramer says there aren't a lot of people living in the critical areas currently. And if those people didn't know they lived in those areas, tonight was the opportunity to figure it out as the city prepared zoned maps as well as the ins and outs of the new moratorium, which Kramer says may be non-negotiable, but is still important information to spread. Between uh, you know, city FAA, uh, they, they have a lot of the cards that if we don't uh, um, get these in place, we put our airport at risk. So a lot of this is giving out information. This was the first of a series of meetings on the topic. The next will be a public stakeholder meeting on the 21st. Live in the news, I'm Zane Hopin. Back to you guys. All right, thank you very much, Zane.